in this lecture, we will look at this example. This example says that find two positive numbers whose ratio is 6 to 5 and whose product is 480. Now, we need to assume these two positive numbers are x and y. Then based on the given condition is that ratio is one number x divided by another which is 6 to 5 so then you may write 6 over 5. You may think then probably six, uh, x is 6, y is 5. That's not true. Uh, probably is true, but may not be true. Okay. Look, the second condition is what? Whose product is 480. Now that means x times y has to be 80, uh, 480. Okay. So there are two conditions here. If you assume that x is 6, y is 5, 5 times 6 is only like 30, is not 480. Okay, here is the technique. You know, x over y is 6 over 5. You also know x times y is 480. So, what we like to do is what? The left hand side times xy, the right hand side you can also times xy. But you know, x times y is 480. Okay. So basically, the left hand side x over y times xy, the right hand side 6 over 5 times 480, because they are equal. Huh. Okay. Those two are equal. By what? By that. Okay. Yeah, that's the remark here. All right. Now, as long as you did that, you can see is that uh, y will cancel this y. Okay. And then x will times x. So you'll get x squared. Okay. So left hand side is x squared. Right hand side is how much? Turn on your calculator. 6 times 480 divided by 5. That's 500. 76. So x squared is 576. x equals what? You choose the square root. Okay, that's second square root. 576. And then you hit the enter. So x is 24. Hmm. Okay. If x is 24, then what is y? Look, x is 24, you put it back here. Okay, then you have a 24 times y is 480. Now, both sides may divide it by 24. What do we get? 
And 24 divided by 24, that's 1, times y is y. And the right hand side is 480 divided by 24 gives us 20. So, then you have the solution as well. Is that. So, then you may answer the two positive numbers are 24 and 20. That's it. Okay. Please review this lecture. I'll see you next time.